I'm Karina Morocco with EBD Group and we are here at Biotech Showcase 2020 in San Francisco. I'm joined by Saul Bobani and Scott Schliebner of PRA Health Sciences. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so Scott, if you could just start off by telling us a little bit more about PRA. Sure. Um, we're really excited to be here at this event. Um, PRA Health Sciences is a global clinical research organization, uh, drug development partners to, uh, to biotech and pharmaceutical companies. Um, the small biotech space that we're at today is, is particularly interesting and exciting for us. We have the right types of tools and mindset and approach to really partner um, throughout really the drug development life cycle with small biotech companies. Uh, I think the paramount kind of big pillars that really drive what we do are leveraging data and real world evidence. Um, we're strong proponents of leveraging some new innovative technologies, mobile health platforms to really drive virtual and decentralized trials. And then patients are really at the forefront of what we do. So we try to leverage patient focused approaches to make clinical trials more friendly and uh, easier for patients and families to participate in. So working with small biotechs is kind of always been at the core of what we do and it's a great fit for our kind of agile, nimble approach to clinical development. Great, and so maybe Sol, you can tell me why was it important for your company to attend Biotech Showcase? Yeah, so thank you. It's, it's really great to be here as well. And you know, I've been attending the Biotech Showcase for a number of years now and it's really great to be here with PRA. PRA's uh, heritage and legacy is deep within the biotech and emerging biopharma communities. Um, nearly 50% of our business comes from the small and emerging companies. Uh, so biotech is just really important to how we work and, and the types of companies that we support. We always want to be on the leading edge of where the innovation is happening. Um, and it's something that's just super important to us. I think you know the other exciting thing is that we have a, a unique chance here to really help these companies propel to their next level of development. Yes, they're here looking for investment or co-development partners, but an important piece of that puzzle for them is how they're going to get the work done. And we're just really excited to be here to, to have those discussions with them. Yeah, and so as a top five CRO, why is it important for biotech and emerging biopharma companies to be part of your client base? Yeah, so as I said before, I think it's, it's important to realize that the innovation in our industry is primarily happening with the small and emerging biopharma companies and the biotechs out there. Um, of course, there are always concerns that, you know, how does a biotech effectively partner with a larger CRO? Won't we get lost in the mix or something along those lines? And so, you know, we, we sit with our companies, uh, our potential clients, and just impress upon them that these are the types of engagements that we're most interested in. This is where the innovation is happening. We are able in our organization to put purpose-built teams in place that have years and years of experience working with the smaller organizations. So yes, while we're a larger CRO, we make that experience feel to them as if they have the most important uh, product or potential product uh, that is part of our portfolio. So Saul, if you can tell me some unique differentiators that PRA brings. Sure, thank you. So Scott touched on some of it earlier, but I'd like to expand upon it. I think it's really important that our biotech clients understand that PRA is constantly investing and looking to partner with enabling technologies that will change the way that we run clinical research today and in the future. Whether it's through mobile engagement platforms or the utilization of artificial intelligence and machine learning on large data sets, we're always looking for those new ways to innovate to make clinical research more efficient and more attractive. Ultimately, our goal is to make clinical research as a true care option to patients. What does that mean? It means that when a patient shows up in their doctor's office, that not only are we making available treatments um, to them today, what's available on the market today, but also those things that could be uh, participating in a clinical trial that might better serve them. And today that doesn't happen, but ultimately we'd like to see that happen. Yeah, great. And uh, Scott, can you tell us a little bit more about PRA's focus on rare disease and any collaborations or partnerships? Please, absolutely. Um, we started our Center for Rare Disease about seven years ago, and so we've developed really uh, incredible, massive experience and expertise. Um, truly leaders in the industry um, at this point. Um, Rare is exciting, it's challenging, it's different, and it requires us to be innovative. And so for us, the rare disease space gives us an opportunity to leverage some of these innovative tools. Um, patients are few and far between. Um, we believe strongly that 
you shouldn't have to live near a major academic medical center to participate in a clinical trial. We should be able to bring clinical trials to where patients and families are. A lot of times that's children in the rare space. Um, so our focus is exclusively on the patients. How do we make trials easier? How do we reduce the burden of participation? And to do that, we leverage data, and we leverage technology, and we leverage like patient-focused approaches. It's a really fun space to be in. I feel like we're making a difference, and um, there's a ton of work out there in the biotech world focused on rare. So we're just going to keep on doing it. Well, thank you so much for joining us you today. Yeah. You're welcome.